Outside Mr. Fox's garden, three maids playing with golden ball. Jenny threw it up and Susan caught it. Mary bounced it over the wall. The wall is high, Mr. Fox has a little red eye. In she ran to fetch her ball again. The garden gate stood open wide. Then suddenly it shut and locked behind her. Mr. Fox was just inside. The wall is high, his smile is cruel, and his eyes are sly. <coughs> he says, I shall have this ball, Miss Mary. I shall have it and here you'll stay. You will keep my house and be my <coughs> servant. Not stir out for a year and a day. The wall is high, the grass it shivers, and the tall trees sigh. Now spring and summer pass like shadows. She watched the green leaves fade and fall. As she walked alone in the empty garden, Mr. Fox said nothing at all. The wall is high, not a soul comes near or by. But three strange things he did forbid her. Never touch my iron box. Don't go near the thirteenth bedroom or near the bed said Mr. Fox. The wall is high, Mary, don't you dare ask why. Well, Mary, she rose up one morning, the iron box was on her shelf. But of all the rooms at Mr. Fox's, bedrooms there were only twelve. The wall is high, Mary, don't you and pry. One morning Mr. Fox went walking and in that box she found a key. It fitted a door she'd never unfastened. When she opened it, what did she see? The wall is high, the door says run and the key says fly. In Mr. Fox's thirteenth bedroom, a naked sword hung on the wall, and in a silver bowl on the bed's black counterpane, there she spied her golden ball. The wall is high, the bed says come, and the sword says die. In she ran to fetch her ball again to snatch it off that great black out jumped Mr. Fox and he leapt at her. His teeth flashed white and his eyes burnt red. The wall is high. Now outside Mr. Fox's garden, three maids playing with golden ball. Jenny 